Today, we're gonna try some chartreuse baits for big crop stars. If it's not chartreuse, it ain't got no use. Boom, boom. Yeah, a lot of colors will work, but I got my own little glow color. And this bait, you can actually really see in the water. We got perfect conditions. It's calm, it's clear. The weather has been stable. These fish should be shallow. Using a nice glow bait like that is really gonna be advantageous. I can just see that go black and I know a fish has it. I'm gonna really know where my bait's at. So yeah, get ready for the scuff life, not clean chick outdoors. But yeah, no use if it ain't chartreuse. Clayton. All right, let's pull into a bay. Let's get down to business, man. Came into a back bay here and there's kind of like life everywhere. Saw some pike, minnows, largemouth. Could be a bit warm, but I'll tell you this, the color of the water has that haze to it that I like. Sometimes the biggest ones show up later. Weird. I know. So I'm just looking here, looking for cane, looking for big spawners. Sometimes the most stable, warmest days for a long period can really get those big ones in. I've seen them as late as June on bed or paired up. So late spring, almost summer. I'm gonna look on these roots, pad roots, cane, little stump things, any type of cover. Just looking around here. Once I see one, it's game on. You know what I mean? Right now I'm in like that search mode. The weather is so dependent. Like this is great weather to use your eyes. Better than a fish finder. You know they're gonna be shallow somewhere. Oh, saw a mud pile. That must have been a pike or a large mouth. It's good to have life in the area. That's for sure. Just saw something small there. What was that? Was that a bluegill or is that a crap star? Minnows, more life, mint. Bullheads. Oh, there's bullheads everywhere. Bullheads, not crap stars. Cool, bluegill. I love just looking in the water like this. Standing up high on the top so I can get a better range of view. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Really look carefully though. They can camouflage so well. Breeze go away, I don't need that. Doesn't help me, especially when I don't know where they are yet. Right there looks like one no, largemouth bed. Very similar when you see those white roots. Sometimes those are crappy beds. I see a giant right there. Do you see that? They're in here. Okay guys, here's a little sick trick that we're gonna start with that I learned from Chris H last year. If you saw my sight fishing video for crappie with him. So what I'm doing is using a 132 ounce Punisher crappie tube head. And I'm actually just gonna insert that right in to this little swim bait, just like so. You can use a little glue if you want and push it right in as far as you can to where the lead's almost not showing. If you can get it back through, that's fine, but a little crazy glue right there is mint. If not, whatever. And this kind of just glides, flutters, and hovers in shallow, skinny water without a float. So we're gonna start with that. That's a crappy right there. Right there, you see that? It's isolated. Got him. That was so sick. Sight fishing for crap stars, one of my favorites. Don't oh, come off. Oh, nice. You just saw that glow disappear. You just whapped it. Had to work him a bit. Wow. 59.8 degrees of water here and wham. That was sick. There is crap star number one. That's a giant. Not a very long fish, but that, this lake, you have giants. Just measure that. Almost 13 inch. Nice first fish. Gonna release them. I don't wanna really keep anything over uh, 13 inch, you know what I mean? Okay, let's keep going here. There's gotta be more. Can't be the only one. The key is we could actually see them. Once I find one, I'm just gonna tell them down on each fish. There's a ditch right in the middle of there and you were just sitting in there. So far, nice caliber. Let's get down to business, man. Even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. Okay guys, I just found this beaver dam. I saw a huge slab in there. They're here. I just ran right over it and I spooked it, but this is the deal right in here. Oh my goodness, just saw a big one just swim by and there's slabs in there. Oh, there's one. Now I just gotta figure out how to catch them. It wasn't too many. Wood thing down here. Unreal. Ooh, nice. 
can see the fish barely with my eyes. And I'm just shaking the little green thing. I see it go poof, missing that little glow. Ravar for crap stars. There you go. Almost 12 inch fish. All I'm doing is just shaking this bait in the water and these sticks really slow, kind of like in one spot. I'm gonna put a stinky dead minnow. See if this does it. Ew, it reeks. Sometimes I like that. I see this fish here, he won't bite. Got him. Oh, you bastard. Missed him. Brutal. It's a good one. Stinky dead. Makes him mad. Finally bites it. Then I crap the bed. Stinky dead. Let's go. This one's really rotten. I like it. Give up on that one. Come back for you later. Stinking fish. Wow. Can you see this? Right there. Wish I had a polarized lens. They're like right underneath the surface. You would never see these. They're so shallow. That's a good one. Which one should I take? This one's bigger. This one's bigger. Oh, fuck. I spooked him. Got him. That was sick. That was sick. That was so sick. It was like right underneath the surface. Ooh, that's a good one. Look at the size of this one. That's a good one. Nice crap star. He's right underneath the surface, right in the back of this beaver dam thing. Slappy. This one will go. Oh, our first one's better. 12 and a half. He's deep though. Deep fish, man. It was sick. He's holding on to this branch. Let me find another one. They're like inches underneath the surface, that fish. There he is. See him? Right at the surface. Got him. That was sick. How sick was that? Did you see that? Wow. Such a sick strike. There's another one. Unreal. One of the reasons why I like this glow, when a fish bites this, you can actually see it go missing. So I'm actually using my eyes to know or see when I'm getting bit. Sometimes you can't feel it. It's just like a little breathing. The reason why most people lose is because they can't see the wind right in front. Okay guys, I'm moving into um, this floating submerged bushes area. They like to nest in these things too. We're gonna use a set float. I'm gonna use four pound test mono. I kind of prefer mono when I'm using a set float like this. The rubber stuff here seems to stick to it better. It doesn't slide up and down the line. And a one eight glow head, a swim shaddy 1.6 inch. I think that's gonna be really good here. I'm not gonna need to add any weight to a float like that. This is a 3.7 gram float. And I'm gonna add tip that with a stinky dead minnow. Crappy love, smelly stuff. Let's tie that up and get going. Duncan scuff baits for crab stars. Got him. That's a good one. On the stinky dead. Oh, 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 not in the tree. That's our best one. I think I just missed this one. And I went to stinky dead minnow. I put a stinky dead minnow on top of that, sitting in my live well for like a week and wham. Stinky dead is the deal. Went to the swim shaddy, the stinky dead, and I think that's the same fish I just lost. So put that in. Stinky dead, let's get it. Got these old floaters. Seem to provoke them, make me mad too. Stinky dead for the win, bud. Where's Mr. Big? Stinky dead with the scuff head. Let's go. Oh, there's a big one right here. He's right below me. Got him. Oh my God, I lost him. It's too close to me. Look at this. He's gonna hit it. It's right there. Floats not even in the water. Oh, he lost interest. Got him. Cool. That's a good one. I'm just sitting in this bush pile, bro. Got him. Look at that. Nice 12 incher, 12 incher. All nice fish though. We only got one small one. Beautiful fish. Nothing to complain about. Cool, I'm just getting them out of some weird old bush, eh? How many are in this bush? I'm like just blown right into it. I'm just hanging out there, going vertical. That one, not on the stinky dead. Nice 12 incher. I think there's a bigger one in there. I saw one in there that looked huge, but pretty cool. Definitely pairing up or nesting in there. Water temp is 61 in here, just a touch warmer. Seems to be more fish 
The other area was 59. I'm going back to Stinky Dead, bud. Stinky Dead seems to be the deal. Ronte's mine. Double Stinky Dead? They're liking Stinky Dead, eh? All right, Stinky Dead it is. Oh, I see him. He's right underneath it right now. Going to hit the Stinky Dead. Smell the Stinky Dead. You love the Stinky Dead. All right, he's right underneath it. They love the Stinky Dead, eh? He's going to hit this. See him right there. Oh, smell it. Got him. Skiff head hopping in the bush. Got a bunch of nice fish on skiff baits, which is nice. Got some good ones. There's two of our better ones. We're gonna go home. I kind of just skimmed around. Sight fished almost every one of them. Saw every fish that I caught. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna release these guys. <laughs> Son, you know, once you start, there's no going back. I know. This means total commitment. Once you begin the path, there is no way. The reason why most people lose is because they can't see the wind right in front. Thank you.